extra, extra, read all about it. Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, it's weekly, but lordy, lordy, there are so many amazing Sagittarius readings. Go find them, look through them. The message comes to you when it's supposed to, so enjoy those messages too. There's always an extended reading. This is an energy reading, so I pick up on the general energies and themes that are influencing, impacting Sagittarians. Um, but that could be sun, moon, rising, wherever Sagittarius energy influences your life, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. That would apply too. There's always an extended reading. That's a full tarot card spread that digs into the specifics and the details of the energies we pick up on here and includes a romance-specific reading. Yes, I do do personal readings. Just email me at bornwithoutboundaries at gmail.com and we'll get the ball rolling. There's information in the description box below. Um, please click subscribe and ring that bell because I make a new Sagittarius video every single week. So for all your favorite content, get notified. And last but not least, don't just watch your sun sign. Always watch your moon and your rising sign too. Let's get into the reading. Sag, we're going to start out with your... Um, we're going to start out... Hold on. Thank you. Sagittarius, we're going to start out with your crowning energy. Let's get into it. That's basically the energy that's impacting all other energies. And then your central energy, which is the main challenges, and your grounding energy is... What's holding you down and what's showing you the way through? Sagittarius, crowning energy, crowning energy. Use your mind wisely and spirit has a plan. As soon as I got the cards, I immediately heard, calm down, slow down, and take a breath. Because there is a sense of being in danger of overthinking something. There's this sense of tapping into spirit and tapping into, like, just taking a load off your feet and not being so hard on yourself. Tapping into your sense of wisdom as opposed to what you know. Because what you know isn't going to give you the answers here. It's what you understand that's going to provide you the answers. And the answers are divinely guided. This is looking at something from a higher perspective. So a more objective perspective, Sagittarius, but also from a spiritual perspective as in um i mean in other words you're sort of divvying up on everything contemplating everything you know, taking the numbers doing all the you know make you know making making sure all the books add up and all the numbers add up and all the invoices but it's not just about that you know it's it's almost in it's the answer isn't in the pragmatic now the answer is in that voice inside of yourself. Um, I don't think the two are clashing. I just think that one is getting in the other and it's actually just impacting your brain in a way that's making things more stressful than they need to be right now. Because right now there is a sense of peace that is available for you. You can have this peace. But you have to just sort of allow things instead of insisting upon them to be a specific way. Okay, that is your crowning energy. In other words, you don't want to get into a situation where you talk yourself into something because it makes sense. And like, like right now, what will be the determining factor of what works and what doesn't is does it go with the flow? Does it flow? It, as soon as it becomes too difficult, there is a sense of the resistance should tell you something. A lot of things in reverse. All of a sudden, the message flew out. Hmm. Hold on. Time for a beginner mind. 
So you are starting things over. You are starting things new. This is a, a walking into a room, uh, walking into a different place in your life. Um, but being on super on guard and maybe even defensive, knowing that you're vulnerable, feeling vulnerable, but being prepared. This is also speaking defensively or hearing somebody say things in a defensive manner. There's more. Here. There's so much. Magic works through you. This is Cancerian energy. Five plus two. Uh, energy of seven. You're working on something. That may require a change in who you are to get it done. Trust the great mystery. You're just diving in, which is the way, which is what you should do. This could very well be accepting a new job or accepting a new position because this is put you in a new position. It puts you in a position or it's starting back up to work again, like, um, and not really feeling as comfortable as you used to. There is this sense of wanting to do things differently, of really not wanting to go back to work of feeling, feeling like you want to do something completely new, even though, you know, you're sort of like a fish out of water, but there's an opportunity here. And you want to just take it. You want to just go for it. This is a pause. This is not yet ready. Hold on. This is not yet ready. This energy isn't, isn't ready to take off yet. It's almost trying to see things. It's trying to see things differently, trying to look at things differently. This is your central energy, your heart energy. This is trying to look at things differently. Overcome any obstacle, Taurus energy. This is also, this is Taurus energy as in being attractive, people liking you, people, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's your charisma that's actually pushing you through. The abundant universe will provide, this is a sense of Your greatest resources are, are the way people think of you or the way people like you because you don't have many resources of your own. You need to use other people's. Sweet results of weight is also in reverse. This is a sense of feeling drained, not knowing yourself or being uncertain of yourself. Basically, you have to use other people's resources. You have to use other people's work. This could be um, organizing or getting together a, a new business endeavor or a new entrepreneurial project that essentially Sagittarius you're using other people's talents for because you don't have it yourself this is also a sense of feeling drained feeling a big loss of finances big loss of money or having to lose a lot of money or invest a lot of money in order to be able to move on and move forward This is hanging out over here, which is feeling stuck in the dark, almost feeling claustrophobic. You don't really like the sense of not being in control, of, not, of, of having to depend on others in order to make it through. But there is that sense of right now, lack of financial resources is, is blocking you or is kind of restricting your ability to be free. So there is a necessity, Sagittarius, for you to sort of 
sort of do things in a way that you don't necessarily want to do them, that aren't the most comfortable for you. You may have to go, so this is Cancerian energy. Interesting, okay, hold on. This is your grounding energy. No, this is off to the side. This is scorpionic energy that's off to the side. And that's why I think it's something that you're keeping secret. It's almost like a secret that you're hiding. It's a sense of that sense of feeling trapped, that sense of really feeling almost claustrophobic. You're trying not to let somebody see that. It's almost like you're being backed into a corner. And that's why you're so uncomfortable with this, Sagittarius. There's a sense of having gotten yourself to a certain point, having gone so far, and now you feel like you have to sign. Now you have to sign on the dotted line. But you don't really feel very comfortable, and then you want to pause. Because there is a sense of now being expected to just keep, to just go, to just keep diving in, you know, to just... Uh, like I said, to sign the contract, it's almost, it's almost like you're in the chair. This is how I can best explain it. It's almost like you're in that chair at the used car dealership and everybody's pressuring you. Well, you have to commit now because you've talked to us for two hours. You've taught, you know, we spent all this time with you and now you have an obligation to sign on the dotted line. Well, you fucking don't have an obligation to sign on the dotted line. You can walk out that door anytime you want. And I feel like just the pressure itself is making you want to take time out. This is your grounding energy. A sense of really feeling back, like I said, backed into a corner, but this is being extra defensive, you know, almost like a, a bear just ripping and tearing. It's like you're being pressured. Maybe, maybe you're working too much. And you're in a situation where you don't know the answer. You don't know the solution. You've just been given uh, a responsibility that you don't know how to handle. And you didn't even necessarily ask for. Truth transcends illusion. You're trying really, really hard to get to the bottom of something. And you feel super exposed. Bring your ideas to life. Two plus four is six. So your grounding energy, your way through is 100% to tell people what you're thinking, to let people know how you feel in this circumstance right now. Because, in other words, to let your guard down. Because there's something that you're holding back that's making you, that, let's put it this way, if they're gonna roll you right into a corner. They're gonna back you in. They're gonna get what they want from you. If you don't say this now, if you don't say what you feel, it's just going to keep multiplying and going. And it's going to drain you and you don't, you don't feel comfortable in this circumstance. There is a sense of yes, they will like you better. They will like you more. You'll get their approval, but you will not like the situation. There is a halt right now. A, 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 a dead, how? I work with cards so much, my hands start to cramp. A dead stop. This sense of, well, I want this, I want this person to like, maybe you're dealing with a spouse. It's like, I, I want to keep saying yes, I want to keep saying yes, but this keeps draining our funds, this keeps draining our money. It's like this keeps getting to be more and more expensive, if you will. And if it's not money that you're dealing with, though there's a lot of Taurus energy here. And Leo energy. There's a lot of fixed energy. There's a lot of sense of having, needing to actually tangibly have. This lack of resources, it's something that you want to get through, 
or it's something that you're helping somebody else through. This is a sense of you actually being the one that's supporting somebody else right now. Helping somebody else. And you are feeling this burden lay on your shoulders more than they are because it's going to impact you financially more than them. Why are you repressing? Why are you suppressing all of this, these feelings of anxiety? See, there's something attached to all that's going on right now that I need to understand better. That's why I'm confused. Maybe you're confused and I'm picking up that energy of how you thought that you wanted this, but now it's too much. It's like you wanted the concept of something, but you didn't want the reality of it because the reality of it is expensive. The reality of it is signing a lot of paperwork and having to commit in a lot of ways that you didn't really want to right now. The real happy birthday, Doug Denny. The reality is getting in the way of what the ideal that you wanted it to be. And there's a lot of disappointment. I think on one end though, you're kind of like, but maybe I just got to get through this. You know, yeah, it's going to cost us funds, but this is you feeling really drained. This in reverse is being really, feeling really drained and feeling like, hey, really drained of funds. It's like the resources are gone. We don't have any more. What am I supposed to give? but still having somebody, uh, you know, in your corner saying, yeah, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. Do you have to keep going? I don't know. Cause there's a sense of if it doesn't feel right, stop, pause. What makes, what makes sense isn't making sense to you right now. Hold on. So, <sighs> Okay. I I don't even know what really what to say. There there's just such a feeling of of um discomfort here you're not ready you're not ready for this next step I would say it almost is like I would liken it to cold feet you know you've planned you've spent all this money you have the momentum you you're you're pushing in that you're you, you know the momentum is going in that direction but then there's this sense of but do I really want to do this it's, a, it's like feeling the noose starting to wrap around your neck and trying to hide it because it's like it, there's so much invested in this point right now. You just want to sort of barrel through, but look, like focus on the pretty stuff because this is like the pretty side of Taurus, the glamour side of Taurus. Look, you know, look at, look at my dress and, and, you know, look at all the stuff that we've spent and, and you know, look, look at how shiny the new car is. Like, let's look at the pretty stuff because maybe that will help me forget about how much I've put into this and how, how much I've had to invest to get it and like how much I really am nervous and scared about diving into this more domestic situation, this, this larger commitment. I don't not necessarily, because this is Cancerian energy. That's why I said domestic, but you know, you may be buying a house and having cold feet about signing the lease. Because it's like, oh my God, what if um, there's something I didn't read? What if I'm missing a clause? You know, we're heading into Mercury retrograde. This isn't a good time to sign a contract. Or if you're going to sign a contract, then you should look over it once, look over it twice. Let yourself slow down. 
allow yourself to slow down. And I think that's what this crowning energy is. It's like you're, you're struggling against what makes sense and what your intuition is telling you. And I will say this to you, Sagittarius. Go with your intuition. If only because, not to say that you're not going to buy that house or you're not going to go through with that wedding. I think you just need, you're like, you're feeling the slowing down. Jupiter is in retrograde. This is a time to pull back a little bit and say, do I really believe in this? What is it that I really believe in? And if I, if I really believe in this, how do I get how I go about this to align with my values? Because right now they seem to be a little bit out of sync. Let's go into your tarot card spread. I want to clarify all of this with tarot and then also do your romance reading, of course. That's going to be over there too. The link is below, Sag. I'll see you over there.